everyone. I just want to spend a few more minutes talking to you about the GoTalkNow app. So this would be part two as a follow-up to my previous video. And if you haven't seen that, um, just go check that out first. That might help to watch that video first. I'll link it in the description below. But what I'm gonna do in this video is, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes showing you how I add a new button, how I add a new screen, and a little bit about the layout of the page editor area of the app. And if something else simple comes to mind, I may talk about that. I just didn't wanna to take too long. I'm just gonna show you the basics, and I hope it helps you out if you're looking for some direction. Okay, so you see I have the app opened up right now. And if you remember in my previous video, we talked about how that Melanie is the player, this is where she communicates, but I'm the one that edits the app, so it's just three fingers down, and this is the area I would wanna to go to make any changes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can add a button, and I'm gonna start out on this page. If you look, these are all my pages. There's, we have a lot of them, so it takes a minute. I need to go to safety signs. Okay, so you see this page has 16 different buttons, but only 12 of them are filled up. So Melanie has just about mastered these safety signs. I quiz her on these about maybe once a week at school and do it because I want her to know these and it's time to add some more. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna add one and demonstrate to you how I add a button. So I've got four blank spaces here, so I'll just start right here. And so here's my blank slate that I can start on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by adding the image because she has to see that she's very much a visual learner. So I've got four different options. I can pick a picture from the GoTalk image library and that is the area that is preloaded on the app with a lot of different images that you can just choose from there on the app or you can go to the internet and search and of course there's millions of images that you can search there or you can take your own picture if it's something that the person needs to see that's their own. You can take a picture of the item or the activity, and then also you can pick pictures from your own photo library. So for this case, I'm gonna to go to internet search. And the one that I wanna add is called slippery when wet. And when I do that, it's gonna search the internet, and if I can spell it right, it's hard to do this here. I'm just gonna search the internet, and it's gonna give me hundreds of choices and I'm going to look for the one that I want to use. Here's all my choices. And so I think I'm going to try to find one that's as simple as possible. And it looks like I want to try, I'm going to use this one here. So as soon as I tap it, it just downloads immediately to the button. And then you can do whatever you want. You can make it bigger, smaller, um, move. This is the button, this is the text that I could add. I'll show you that in just a minute. So um, I think for now, I'll just leave it in the middle. Now. If there's a button where you need, if it's just a picture and there's no words and you need to put words on there, then that's where you would add those words in button text area. And so I would just add whatever I want, the word, what, what words I want on that button. In this case, I don't need any because it already says slippery when wet. So I'm just going to put a random letter in there and then exit out. That way that'll clear that off. I don't need to use that this time. But other, there are other times where I do need to add words. So when this button is uh, pushed, it, I need to program it to say slippery when wet. Even though it says slippery when wet on that image, it's not gonna know that. Now, if I had put words in here on the screen, it would automatically say what is on the screen. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do that. You can even put words on this button and then program it to say something different. There's all different ways you can do it. But for me, I need to go up to action and text to speech is what I want. So I'm basically just putting in exactly what I want the button to say when it is pushed. And I want it to say slippery when wet. Okay. And then I just hit that again. And so I need to go test this to make sure I've done it right and not made a mistake. So I'm all finished. So I'm gonna push done. Now again, I can't test it because I'm not in the player area. So I need to go back to the home, push player, and then she has safety signs. Things to do. Safety signs. Okay, so you can see there's the new button with the three blank spaces for the buttons that we've not used yet. So when I touch this, slippery when wet. It says slippery when wet because I programmed it to say that. And so that's how you add a new button. Then I just wanted to show you real quick how you add a new page. Oops, I'm not in the right spot three fingers down. Okay, so here's all my pages. I need to add a page, so I push the plus sign. 
Now there's a lot of different things you can do here, but for today's video, I'm just going to show you how to add a blank button page. It automatically goes to four options, but if you go over here, you can go down to one button on this page. You can go to two, four, nine, 16, 25, and 36. Uh, 25 is the highest that we've used. We use 25 buttons on her home screen. Um, she has not gotten up to 36. That starts to get a little bit challenging visually, so that may not be appropriate for some. But for instance, 16 is what we used for the uh, safety signs page. And so you can program it to have as many buttons as you want or as few buttons as you want. And so that's pretty easy. Um, of course, you can change background color. Um, that was the same with the, when you program a button, you can change colors um, on the background and on the letters. Um, I'll just show you real quick before I finish this clip. This is how you want to title your page. So for instance, say this was, I was starting a whole new safety signs page. I would just put in safety signs. And so now the page is labeled. And then if I wanna add a picture, I can do that. And so when I touch that, those same options come up as from before when we were programming a button. I can pick an image from the image library that's already loaded on the app, the images that come with the app, or on the internet, or I can take my own picture. So if I want to go take a picture of my own safety sign, I can do that. And then I can pull it from the iPad in the photo library and just put it in that little spot right there so that um, the student or the individual who's using that page, that visual cue helps them to remember um, what that page is about. So I do try to make sure all the pages are labeled and have a visual cue so that Melanie um, can rely upon that in case she can't um, remember where she's at in the app. So I hope that little demonstration helps you to visualize how you can add buttons and add screens to the speech app. I know there are some other things that it can do that are fancier, but that's just the basics. That's about all I need to do on this app for Melanie on a daily basis. So if you have any questions, I'd love to help you out. Just leave me a comment. Also, you can find me on Instagram at WeHeartSmarts. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you'll hit the like button. And also, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm Stephanie, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.